Welcome to Today's The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is, not today, Satan. That expression has been used a lot lately. If you do anything on the internet, you hear a lot of people doing that. The first time I saw that expression, there was a video of a little kid that kept saying, not today, Satan, not today, Satan. So, I uh, advise you to, when you're going through your problems, you're dealing with the things that are coming against you. You say, not today, Satan. Not today. It may sound uh, kind of coy to say something like that, but you have to let the devil know where you stand. When you got God behind you, there's not much he can do against you, but the devil will try. If you don't know who Satan is, it's in the Bible. Satan was once an angel, but he became rebellious, and God kicked him out of heaven. Revelation 12, 7 through 9 reads, And war broke out in heaven, and Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angel was cast out with him. I'll share something with you that I thought was funny. One day I was watching the local newscast, and they were interviewing students who were first-generation college students from their family. And as the, uh, the reporter was talking to one of the students, a guy walked out the door and walked by that wore a black and white t-shirt that says, Not Today Satan. I thought that was a great message that was unintentionally put out there, but I thought that was great. I, I said, yes, one day I need to speak on that. Today is the day. Again, I say, not today, Satan. When those things come against you, you say, not today, Satan. When the enemy is coming against your children with sickness and in their health, not today, Satan. When the people on your job are talking about you like you're a dog, not today, Satan. When you see your attitudes going down because the, the way people treat you and you're beginning to treat them the same way that they treat you, not today, Satan. It's a good expression to say, and you let the devil know that you mean business. God would never put those kind of evil thoughts in your head about talking bad about anyone or doing something wrong. So, when you get those thoughts, not today, Satan. 1 Peter 5 and 8 reads, Be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. When someone has done you wrong and you're thinking about revenge, even though you have a right to go back after them, you think again and say, not today, Satan, because God said revenge is his. Revenge is his. So there's no need for you to try to go and mess things up by trying to get revenge yourself. All you have to do is stand up against the devil and let him know that you're not gonna play his games. But sometimes, let me tell you, it's hard to distinguish who Satan is at certain times. Ladies, Satan will come in the best looking guy that you thought was your ideal man. And watch out for that. You say, not today, Satan. Guys, some young lady come up and say sweet things to you and she's looking really good and you know that something's telling you don't mess with this lady? Not today, Satan. You got to understand when to stand up to the devil because if not, those little thoughts, those little tendencies, your failures, your, your weaknesses will all work against you. But you can stand up and say, not today, Satan, and seek the Lord in all you do. 2 Corinthians 11 and 14 reads, And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So when you see videos, or videos online or anyone wearing a t-shirt that says, Not today, Satan, agree with it. Because that's our message for today. Not today, Satan. Or not any day. James 4 and 7 reads, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, 
and he will flee from you. So no matter what problems or situations come your way, don't succumb to them. Be victorious over them. Seek the Lord in all you do, and you will become a victor. And you can truly say, not today, Satan. Be blessed.